having us this morning. We really appreciate it. And uh, we've got something fun to, to talk about. Uh, we're bringing the iPhone to the UK today. And um, I wanted to just tell you a little bit about the place we're at. This is our Regent Street store in the UK. This is our largest store and our whole uh, chain of stores uh, in terms of square footage. And it's the second largest in terms of revenues. So this is a great store for us. And we see about 75,000 customers a week uh, pass through these doors. So um, that's where we are today. And we appreciate the store shutting down a little bit so we can have the place to ourselves. So thank you, guys. Um, so we're, we're thrilled to be in London and uh, at our Regent Street store. And we want to uh, talk about, of course, the iPhone. Now, as you know, uh, the iPhone is three awesome products in one. Uh, it's a breakthrough phone. If it was nothing but a phone, it would be a breakthrough. You can actually use it and use all of its amazing features because it's really, really easy to use. It's a very powerful phone that's super easy to use. In addition to that, um, it is the best iPod we've ever made. Uh, it's got cover flow on it. It's awesome for music. It's awesome for video. The screen is really nice to watch uh, TV shows and movies and other video on. It's great to watch YouTube on as well. Uh, and it is, for the first time on a mobile device, you can have the internet in your pocket. And you know, everybody says they have a browser on their phones, but if you've ever tried to use one, you know that that's not quite true. There's never been a good mobile browser. And the uh, iPhone has the, the best browser by far on any mobile device. It's the first browser that really gives you the full internet. And we have some other fun stuff over the internet, like Google Maps as well. So it really gives you the internet in your pocket. And it's those three things together uh, that are the iPhone. Now, in the US, uh, the iPhone's been on sale for less than 90 days. And uh, we announced just a little bit ago that we've sold over a million iPhones in its first 74 days. And this is great. It's always wonderful to, to sell lots of products. But what's even more gratifying than this is we've gotten our own market research back. And it said exactly what the third party market research has been saying now for the last month, which is the customer sat is off the charts. Customer satisfaction is the highest on iPhone than on any other product in Apple's history. Uh, over 95% of the customers are saying uh, they love their iPhone, that they are uh, 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 happy or very happy with the product. And over, I think it's 85% said they would enthusiastically or very enthusiastically recommend it to a friend or family member. So this is what really counts in the long run, even more than, than selling a million phones in 74 days. And we can't wait to let uh, people here get their hands on it and see if they love it as much as we do. Yeah, that's already starting to happen. Uh, we've actually um, talked about a great way to write applications for the iPhone using the new Web 2.0 standards. And you already see companies starting to do that. Facebook's done that. Uh, Salesforce.com has done that. There's a whole variety of them on our website. And you're starting to see some pretty good apps. Some people want us to open it up even more intimately so they can write applications which don't require an internet connection to run. And, uh, and we're, we're looking at that. We haven't made any decisions yet, but we're looking at it. So um, my question is, can you give any assurances to customers who buy the iPhone on November the 9th that in two months' time, you're not going to slash the price by a third? <laughs> God, I, I, I wish we could, but then we'd, we'd be a total philanthropy at that point. So I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but again, in, in technology, there's never any guarantees. And it's just one of those things that, uh, that happens over time. There's always new models of things. There's always price reductions on old models. And if you, if you wait to buy something always looking over the horizon, you'll never buy anything in technology. So uh, we have no plans to, to change the pricing. Uh, but I can guarantee you that it will change at some point in the future, because every technology product does. So. Our, our goal, and we think what serves the customer best, is to constantly be working on making things better. We're working on the next iPhone. We're working on the one after that. We're thinking about the one after that. And that's what our customers want us to do. They want to know that when they're ready to upgrade, we're going to have something even better for them. And uh, 
that's what that's what the, part of what they pay us to do.